All right, uh, moving on to 12.2, I'm still working with rational expressions, uh, which we do most of this module. Um, we are going to work on multiplication and division. Uh, and then in 12.3, we start working with addition, which is actually a little more difficult because of trying to find common denominators. I think um, you'll find that this, this part's a little bit easier. Uh, it does get a little messy, but I'll, I'll try to work in different colors so you can see what's happening here. Um, when we when we multiply, we want to remember on uh, multiplication of fractions that we can do this thing called cross simplifying or, or uh, cross reducing, and then we can also simplify um, up and down also if it's possible. But it seems like things are often set up that we can do this cross simplifying. So what I do is I look over here and I'm like, okay, hey, I can reduce 21 and 3. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna circle them so you kind of, they stand out a little. I'm going to reduce this by dividing by 3. So the 3 is going to cancel out and that knocks the 21 down to 7. Okay, then also I can see that, hey, I can, I can reduce this x to the 4th and this x to the 3rd here. The x to the third is going to cancel out, and it's going to knock this down to x to the first power. Now, I could cross this whole thing out, or I just like to maybe cross out the exponent and just write a little 1 there. So we have to try to stay organized when we're doing these, okay? Now, looking diagonally here, the 2 can reduce with the 8. It's going to be a negative 4. I'm going to uh, write negative 4 there so I don't forget that negative 4. And then this y squared is going to cancel out and knock this down to y to the first. So you can see, like I said, it gets a little messy here. I have to really look carefully at what's left over here because when we do multiply, remember we multiply straight across the numerator and the denominator. So I get 7 times negative 4, which is negative 28. And then in the denominator, I get y times x, which is, I like to put them in alphabetical order, um, x, y. Okay, so a uh, little bit messy, but that's the process of multiplication of rational expressions, okay? So what I'm going to do on this next one here is I'm going to, to make sure I can cancel things, I want to factor first, so I'm going to write this in factored form above it. Okay. Now, when you copy it out of the Hawk system, you might factor it right away as you copy it out if you're good at factoring. Um, so since I factored it, I'm going to draw a line through it, uh, the, the polynomial that I factored. And then I'm going to write this out what, so it's in expanded form just so I can see the, the whole, both of the binomials here. Okay. So now I'm ready to start canceling. Well, looking diagonal here, I got the x plus 2 and the x plus 2 can cancel. That's it. Now I'm going to look diagonally at the 5 and the 30. The 5 will cancel out and knock the 30 down to 6 by dividing by 5. And so what do I have left over? Well, let's look. The numerator, just x minus 2. The denominator, I have a 6 and an x plus 2. That's a fine answer, okay? If you feel that you need to multiply that out, just make sure you multiply it out correctly, okay? I like it in the factor form a little bit better, all right? Let's look at um, another one of these. C. Well, looking at C, oh, hey, there's something that we have studied before. What happens when I cancel out a flip around subtraction. Well, it does cancel out, but I have to remember that there's a negative 1 that is caused by that. So I have to put a negative 1 in here somewhere. Right? I'll just put it right here. I mean, I could put it um, in different spots, but I just chose to put it in that numerator there. Okay. Well, uh, here I can do a little cross canceling or cross reducing. That becomes a 1 and a 4. Okay. And so say I uh, don't spot that this could reduce the 4 and the 2, and I just work this problem out. I have negative 1 times negative 4. Maybe I better put my negative next to that. 
so I don't forget it. So negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. And then 1 times 2 is 2. Oh, hey, I can still simplify. And that equals 2. All right. And then looking at D here, it's still multiplication. A lot of factoring. Um, let's see. I'm going to factor this to x minus 7, x minus 8. Draw a line through it. Remember, it might take you three to five minutes to factor that. Hopefully not quite that long, but, you know. This is probably a hint to what this might factor to, uh, but I'm going to just work it out and hope that, that something shows up there. This is 3x and x. Let's see. Um, i got to get a 6 here, so I'm going to put a 3 here and a 2 here. 2 times 3 is 6. This is going to be negative, and this is going to be positive. If you check that out with FOIL, it works. And just like I thought, this binomial shows up here, and I can cancel it out. Also, this binomial shows up on this numerator. Okay, what's left over? Well, there's nothing. I mean, there's nothing except the 1 left in the denominator. So I have x minus 8 times 3x plus 2. Now, if, it, if that answer wasn't acceptable, uh, or you started to type that answer into the Hawk system, and it wouldn't let you type the parentheses, you would probably need to multiply this out. Uh, so you, I'm going to just write maybe FOIL if necessary. Okay, That would get you a equivalent answer. Okay, So, um, all right. Uh, I think that's it for this video. We'll look at a few more in the next video. Um, thanks.